What are binary numbers and why does my computer need them? Your computer can doubtless do many incredible things. It can alter pictures so you no longer have a big boil on your face. It can edit films, draw diagrams, store music, play Angry Birds and so on and so on. But it can't do one of the first things you learn to do, which is count. Not in the way we understand it anyway. Now, look at your hands. You should find that you have 10 fingers, unless you're Anne Boleyn, in which case you'll have 11, but no head. Anyway, while we're here, give us a high 10 right here on the screen and you can automatically subscribe to this excellent YouTube channel. Anyway, your fingers are the reason we count in what's called base 10. Using your fingers, you can count up to 10 things, but then you need to either start using your feet or start again. In which case, you need some way of recording that you've already got to 10 once. Our base 10 system of counting tells you how many times you've started again. So the number 10 has a 1 to the left, telling you that you've counted all the way to 10 once. The number 11 has a 1 on the right as well, which means you've counted all the way to 10 and you've counted another finger. The number 11 means 1 10 and 1 1. The number 25 means two tens and one lot of five. Eventually, we have to add another digit to the left to show how many times we've reached a hundred. And then another one for a thousand, ten thousand, a hundred thousand, a million, and so on. It's really quite brilliant. We use just 10 numerals to make up any number. A written out number is a code for adding up. The number 9876 means we've counted nine thousands eight hundreds, seven tens, and six fingers. Now then, computers can't do this because they cannot recognize something that has 10 possible states. Computers, although they seem incredibly complicated, are really just a great deal of simplicity. They are made up of massive arrays of switches, and switches can only exist in two states. They are either on or off. You can think of a computer as being billions and billions of yeses and noes, or billions and billions of blacks and whites. It doesn't matter. The fact is, the computer only understands two digits, one and zero. Zero is zero, that's simple enough, and one is one, exactly as you'd expect. But now we get to two, and there isn't a two. So two in binary code, or base two, is actually one, zero. We think that's a 10. It looks like a 10, but it isn't. It's 2. 3? Well, there isn't a 3 either. So in binary code, 3 is 1, 1. But it actually works in exactly the same way as our base 10 system. The number on the left tells you how many times you've reached 2. In our base 10 system, a number to the left tells us how many times we've reached 10. 10 units, 10 tens, 10 hundreds, 10 thousands, and so on. But in the binary system, in base 2, the new digit to the left tells you how many times you've reached 2. Two ones, two twos, two fours, etc. This means that binary numbers grow very quickly. The number 16 looks like 10,000 to us, and the number 1 million in base 2 is 11110100010000000000000. Oh yes. The good news is that computers can process these bits of information far more quickly than I can explain them. Billions per second, in fact. 8 bits make a byte, which is the smallest amount of information needed to store one of the 256 ASCII characters, the letter P, for example, or a curly bracket. So it takes 16 bits to make a smiley. After that, it's all Greek. A kilobyte is supposedly a thousand bytes, but actually it's 1024 bytes because of the way the computer counts, in base 2. A gigabyte is supposedly a billion bytes, but guess what? It isn't. It's 1,073,741,824 bytes, which in base 2 is a 1, followed by a convenient 30 zeros. An old joke. There are only 10 types of people in the world, those who understand binary numbers and those who don't. Get it?